Hey guys, it's Jess, and we just got new plank cards. And these aren't just your generic, oh, maybe like the sapling card. They're not that good. These cards are really good. The main two I'm going to focus on are the Link 3 Aroma and the Level 1 Aroma. So, what do these guys do? So, a Level 1 Aroma, when you can discard a quick effect to gain life points, that's not the relevant part. When this card's normal special summoned, we get to summon an Aroma monster from our deck. We then get plant locked for the rest of the turn, but that's perfectly fine. This is probably the first plant card we've got that will just summon another plant directly from deck. And it's a really good starter, for, so it's another one card starter. It's an extender, especially with the Link 3. So the Link 3 will then, on summon, will, it's a generic Link 3, just needs two plants, or three plants even. We search out our level 1, or search out an Aroma card, summon the Aroma card from hand, or any up to three Aroma cards from hand, then we can remove a card once per turn by tributing and banishing a card on the field. These cards are really, really good, and I'm re I've been really enjoying just testing them out, just messing with them since I've gotten back, because they do so much. They don't increase your end board massively. Well, they do on if you play a bunch of bricks, but I'm going for as competitive version as I can. So without playing some of the other new, which Arom the new other new Aroma support is really good, but it provides a bunch of bricks, and I just I don't want a brick. I want to play the most competitive version I can, and I think that's what I've made. the The new support extends way more than before, so the deck is significantly more resilient to hand traps than it was before. It goes through combos with less resources, like just Loki now is an even bigger board than it was before. And I'm really just excited because it's given the deck more resilience to play through things. It's more consistent. It's got more one card combos and overall just seems like a better deck. So I'm really excited. We're going to do a quick, I've made some combos. We're going to do a very quick deck profile just to kind of showcase what aroma cards I'm playing. And then we'll go straight into a couple of combos just to showcase how good the combos actually are and what the improvements are. So let's get straight into it. Right, so we're gonna get into deck profile here. We've got so I'm gonna not gonna focus too much, so a lot of this is quite I believe it's 50, 51 cards. I'm not gonna to focus too much on the regular Rick Cephalon pile because it is pretty standard as the new cards synergize very, very well. And they because they synergize so well, they pretty much just insert themselves and we don't need to change non-engine ratios too much. Because, again, they completely depend on the format. Things like the Ashes, Droplets, could all change based on the format. For now, it's just there as an example for end to non engine ratios. So, we'll get into it. We'll go quickly for the bit I need to explain, which is my Aromage package, which is three of our starter. So, this card is pretty much full combo as on its own as a starter, so it's an additional starter to Loki. Then, also it's an extender, when we summon a Link 3. So the best line to show is there's the combo after this is going to be just when I normal summon this guy to start. That's when we're gonna that's when you'll see how powerful this card really is. Then we've obviously got a Rage Laurel, which is the monster you're gonna summon off this guy. And Angelica. Angelica is the other target to search. Angelica comes up in a lot of combos, especially when you open your normal summon. Angelica is just your other remage target. It can't be summoned from deck. However, it's an extender. These are soft bricks, they're not hard bricks. Um, they are they act as extenders when you draw them quite often, especially when you're gaining life. So this is definitely the package to play. You don't want to play with the others, they're bricky. For the rest of it, three loci. Twin. So loci alongside your new Lilith. These are your like hard one like this will give you your full giant board. Either of these starters here. So obviously twin, still have to play it. Then we still play exact same Ricker package. Three Princess, two Petal, two Mudan, Primula, Snowdrop. You could argue that you could play a third Mudan now because you're playing a much higher card count. So this is like 51-ish. And you always want to see you want to see Mudan to help play through things. However, again, because you don't because you just want to see plants, the plants that you upgrade, like if you're playing three Mudan. It doesn't matter as much because your Mudan, the problem with Mudan is you have to see the starter already. So, I, or you have to see it with a princess if you want to search a starter. Hence, I'm a bit unsure on that, but you could play three. But 
yeah, this is pretty standard. Next, three Lily Boria, one Regulus, one Lone Fire. You only need one Lone Fire, even if you're playing small, you still only need one. I don't think more is necessary because you can use Lily Boria as the bridge. Also, this guy's now a bridge as well. Really, really good bridge because it's a dark, so it's got a different type to everything else. Even though it has level 1 zero stat, which means it doesn't mesh you well with Princess and Loki, the dark attribute does help as a bridge. Then we've also got our Gamma Seal bridge. Lily Boria, even though you get plant locked with your starter, you still need a generic plant extender in that combo. So it means you can just search Regulus in the combo for next turn. So if you can plant lock, Lily Boria is still really, really good because you need that plant extender. And then the last card monster I play is just my non engine monster, which is 3 Ash. Again, this can change the format. If Droll's really good, play Droll. Just a non engine card, and it's a monster you can just use for the small world, and it's a monster you can use for 1 for 1. Then, extenders and monsters. We've got Throat Expected Die. Even more broken now, because if you happen to open Unexpected Die plus Petal, you have a dish, or plus this guy, you have an additional normal summon. So you can go die, and then you have an, another monster you can just normal summon with this to make it even more broken. Then triple small world. Again, we've got more monsters to get rid of, and we've got more monsters to search. Uh, another good thing I want to mention about Rome Age is they give you a great grind game. Because you, for example, the Angelica is going to Graveyard. Instead of getting banished, because you're going to be overlaying with it. Really good. Really nice interaction. Really more, like, we like more follow-up plants. Rest of the spells, two sewing, one, one for one, one for one, even more broken than before, especially with a higher monster count. Then two sewing, self explanatory. I'm still very convinced in the grind game, two is necessary. For the Ricker cards, three Glamour, two Con Con, one Sheet. Especially in a bigger deck, you're less, you're less likely to open cards with Con Con, so it's. I'm not that keen on three Con Con, it's quite cloggy. But you need definitely multiple. And Glamour, even better again, because, again, like you can search Loki, you can search your other starter. And then we get to the non, the non engine cards. Again, the non engine cards create changes the format. For me, I'm currently playing. Oh, I'm playing a Disc Coliseum, which is the engine. I forgot about that one. And that's for Ethereum engine. And then we play three Droplets, three Thrust, one Talent, one Duster. Again, these changes are the format. Right now, these are good, so I'm just playing these. Because your engine is more consistent and resilient than before, especially since if you can get into, like, just a mod bodies on board, when your Jasmine gets stopped and they're interrupting you, being able to threaten the removal and the, the search into combo with this this guy, because searching with this, summoning level 1, summoning the Laura from deck, linking 2 into Jasmine, getting another search, is a pretty big combo and can get you places. So this is very, very scary for opponents. And it provides us... It provides much more resilience going second, so you're, le you're less reliant on these going second cards. Obviously the ratios of these can change, it just depends on the format. So that's the main deck, if we go to the side, if the extra deck. The extra deck is the other major thing that changes, and I will mention uh, my side deck cards afterwards. So, one link three, I only think you need one, because typically you'll just summon it going second, use the effect, or going first. You'll summon it to get or use the effect go second, it's, it's it's using the effect to pop and using the effect to try and push through interrupts. And it's quite difficult. Once you get the first one off, if you do get stopped and it gets removed and your other monsters get removed, it's a little bit difficult to summon the second one. However, it does pretty much always stick because of sewing engrave. And going first, you only need one for the combo and you're going to end up banishing off with twin, especially in one of your opening combos, you end up banishing off with twin anyway. Then we play triple Jasmine. So you now need three. Because this card is this card is now significantly more abusable than it was before, because we all we don't just have healers tr to trigger Jasmine, we also have the effect of all the aromages to discard or to, when they go to grave to gain life points and then trigger Jasmine to search. So, for example, in the one card in one of one card combos with the new ones, we end up using Jasmine four times in a turn because we use all three effects to search, and then we reborn back the Jasmine with a healer and then use the effect with, sorry with a twin and use the effect to search again. So, especially when you're doing free hand combos through hand traps, again, it, ha it comes up, the third one comes up again in the hand that I, because I, what I do is I'll do two replays with one card combos and then just a random hand. It comes up in that one again. 
So then these are 100% necessary. Then three Dryas, two healer. I've cut Thrasher and Melius because we don't really need them now, especially so going, you, you've got your link three to substitute, um, especially since this card makes Benglancer because it searches a monster and then summons the monster. It's the exact same as Melius, but better because those monsters have effects. Also, it's inbuilt removal. Um, this is the inbuilt spell trap removal that we were missing. So we don't really need Melisin Thrasher anymore. You, you have, now you with these guys, you have no issue getting damage on board. Then, Dance. Um, I think Dance is more important than ever. One, sure, you technically do have a higher plant count than normal. Two, the more important thing is Dance manipulates levels and you have more level 1s than before. So you have more monsters that you want to manipulate into level 4. So, and again, Dance is necessary for the combos. Then we've got a Vengalancer. Because you can technically summon Dryanthias and then search Grub here, we'll search a Bloom. However, it's an additional brick that I don't want to play. If I want to play additional Trap card bricks, I'd play the Winds cards, but no reason to. And then your standard Ricker for XYZs. You need them all. No real explanation here. The other thing I want to mention, which was relating side deck, is Jasmine and Cactus Bouncer. So post side, because you're summoning Aromages from tech, you can just summon, and because you're getting four searches with the Jasmine, you can just use your level one. So in the combo, like later on the combo, you just go special summon, effect a search, Ooh. search out, special summon, effect, special summon, you end up making a Jasmine, getting some life points, then you draw a card, and you get additional normal summon, and you just search normal summon character bouncer. Because you, you're going to be able to search it because you're getting your four searches. So post side, you can just summon character bouncer and pretty much win. <laughs> Especially since it's not worth it because of the bricks game one. Ha like, however, when you're guaranteed to go first, you can summon this through multiple hand traps. It's really, really valuable. So now we're going to go on to some combos. We're going to start with a combo with just our new broken card, followed by a combo with our old broken card, and followed by I'm just going to draw a random hand and try play through Ash and Imperm. Let's get into it. And now finally we have our just a roamage combo. So obviously we can't end on Regulus with just this guy because we get locked into plants very very early. However, we don't really care because we still have on full board with this. Just this one card, going on full board with Regulus and follow up monster in hand. It's this, it's insane. So we normal summon, we activate effect. Special summon, Laurel from deck. Link two, special summoning out a Roman Therapy Jasmine. Effect to gain 500 life, then effect to search. So we're already ahead in life, we're on 8-5. Here we just add our Therion Lily Boreo from deck to hand. We activate Lily Boreo's effect, special summon itself by equipping a monster. Then use the effect, sending the equipped monster to graveyard. Adding theory on Disc Coliseum, and then using Disc Coliseum, searching out our Regulus. So we now have Regulus in hand for next turn. So we use Jasmine Effect, tributing Lily Boria, special summoning Lone Fire. Lone Fire Effect, tributing Jasmine, special summoning Loki from deck, linking one, summoning out Dryas, Dryas Effect. Searching Sewing. So we now have Sewing and Regulus in hand. We use Sewing. Sewing Twin. Twin Effect. Chain Dryas. Sewing out our Sunfine Healer. We're running Loki. Effect again 300, so we're on 8 8. Linking 2. Going into Jasmine. Then a double link 1 play. Linking one into our Dryas, and then linking one into our second healer. Using effect to search. So effect to gain, then effect to search. And here, we are going to search out pretty much just a Ricker piece. So for this Ricker piece, I think we're going to go for... We'll just add a Petal for now. Typically, I think probably Mudan is the best piece to add. However, it pretty much doesn't matter. You just want to add a Ricker piece. Whatever you don't have. 
Then from here, we just go, we go link healer plus Jasmine, link three into our new support card, which is now we're gonna really see where this shines. So we use our effect, allowing us to search out Angelica. We're then gonna link our Dryas and our twin into the third copy of Jasmine. Then use Twins Effect in Graveyard, banishing itself and banishing our Link 3 as cost, summoning out second copy of Jasmine. Now we can use Angelica Effect, targeting Jasmine in Graveyard, getting 1800. So we were or we already gained 500, then 300, then 300. So we now we've gained another 1800. Then effect of both, both Jasmine, she like one, she like two to search. We can now search out Petal plus Snowdrop. We use the effect of Angelica to summon itself because we control our own monsters. We can link our two our own monsters off. Summon Bang Lancer. Using the effect of Snowdrop. Tributing Bang Lancer. Summon Snowdrop. Summon Petal. Petal effect. Searching out Princess. Effect of Princess, summon itself. Effect of Fairy, target all monsters, sorry, target Princess, make all monsters level four. We can overlay Princess and we'll overlay Petal as well. Go for Strena. Strena effect to add back, detach. We can add back a card for next turn. So we're gonna go ahead and add back our Lone Fire Blossom. We can then go Effect of Muna. Tributing Strena as cost. Chilling one Strena, chilling two Mudan, protecting for the bell. So we can never be build. We can never be belled in this combo. Is the idea? Actually, we can be on the twin technically. I guess. Sorry, that's my bad. Anyway, so we go ahead and search out our Concom, and we were born back Strena. We then replace field spells. Hyper equips our spell. Overlay, so we get the Angelus to go back to Grave, so we have it as even more follow-up. Overlay for Strena. Effect of Concom, set Sheet from deck. Then Effect Bang Lancer in Graveyard, Reborn itself. Now add to Door Jasmine. And now you can see we have two, two really good follow-up cards. We have our Sheet, our Mudan, we have Strena this, we've got Princess and Grave, we've got Hong Kong, we have our complete full board with just our little plant starter guy with a new one. So this provides a new way to full combo and so much more. All right, first off, we're just gonna start with our basic bread and butter combo of Just Loki. So Just Loki, the improvement before is this card is gonna be, this combo is gonna be more resilient to hand traps, especially when we get to Jasmine already. And it's gonna have the full M board of, so previously you would have needed Sunsea Genius Loki plus any Rooker card, but now we can do it without seeing the Rooker card. We can just see it with Loki now. So we start off on the same as normal, so I'm gonna speed through it a little bit. So we normal summon Loki, link one. Summon Dryas, activate Dryas. Got a little pile of cards here. Search out Sewing, activate Sewing. Special summon Twin. Chain link one Twin, chain link two Dryas, always chain blocking. Special summon out healer. And then summon back the loci from graveyard. We then link two. Summoning out our first of many jasmines. Link one with the tweet with the twin. Summon Dryas. Then link one with the loci. Summoning out healer. Effect gain, effect search. As an exact same stock combo starts normal, add Lily Boria, special Lily by equipping the Dryas, use the effect of Lily, sending Dryas, searching out Disc Coliseum, Disc Coliseum effect, searching out Regulus. Then, effect of Jasmine, tributes the healer as cost, summon the Lone Fire, Lone Fire effect, tributes Lily Boria as cost. Summoning out your petal from deck. We then use the effect of Regulus to summon itself before we get locked into plants. Then use the effect of petal, searching off first 
Rick a monster. So here we're just going to go for a nice move down. Then we're doing these very simply to before with going for Link 2 again. Summoning our second Jasmine. Then using the effect of Twinning Graveyard. Banishing the actual monster's own Jasmine. And summoning back a healer from Grave. So it goes to the Iceman's Banish Zone. And we'll summon a healer from our graveyard. We go away. Effective healer, targeting Dryas. Then use effect of Jasmine to search. Now we're going to search our second monster, or our second one of the trio. So we always going, we're always going for the Ricker trio in hand again. So we've got our Princess and our Mudan now. Now we can use our new cards. So we can go Jasmine plus healer. And we go into our link three. And we use the effect of our link three to search out our new Lilith level one. We use the effect of link three to summon all our Romeo monsters from our hand. Special summon level one. Use the effect. Special summon non tuner a Romeo from deck. So now we get the Laurel. Now we can link two. We can go Laurel plus Dryas. Summon out the third copy of our Romeo of Jasmine. Effect of Laurel Triggers, gaining 500 more life points. So we're now on 9,400. Then effect Jasmine will trigger to search. Searching out our final piece, which is the Snowdrop. Now we can just use the Snowdrop to retain the Jasmine. Summoning itself and Mudan. Mudan, Mudan effect, searching out Concom. Effect of Princess summoning itself. Snowdrop effect targeting Princess. All the monsters coming level 4. Overlay 2. For Strena. Strena effect. Detaching Mudan. Targeting Mudan and Grave to add it back to hand. Fed a Mudan in hand because we haven't used it yet. Choosing Strena. Summoning itself. Strena triggering. Summoning its. Summoning Hyperison from extra deck. Then we can just overlay our Romage and our Snowdrop, summoning the second Strenna, activating Concon, effect Hyperiton, equipping back our field spell, so we have a spell negate. Concon effect set from deck, set our Ricker Sheet from deck. And then finally, linking four, and still ending on our Bengal Answer. So here, this is our, this is your standard vanilla plant end board, but normally this would require Ricker plus Loki. Now it's just Loki. And you have the exact same map called next track follow up. You still have teardrop. So this is pretty strong, especially going from one Loki. This is an improvement on before, and you can kind of get an idea of how going into the link three randomly in a combo is going to improve your resilience into hand traps. Because if you get hand trapped on the Jasmine, you can just make a Romage, grab your level one, summon it, and then make another Jasmine and get another search. All right, I've tried, I think two of, I think I've tried four or five takes now of trying to draw random hands, then doing a full combo to showcase how the Romage stuff interacts with Ricker and Snavalon. However, every time I've tried this, I've been able to open like the full, well, I've opened full combo or I've opened a Romage access to full combo and it's been pretty boring in my opinion. So I'm gonna give my, I'm dribbling my deck I would draw five cards and we're gonna play through Imperm plus Ash and try and showcase how the Romages improve your matchups in down traps. So our five cards are Glamour, Thrust, Lily Boria, good start. Oh, so I did die. Amazing start. Sunseed Twin. Alright, so you may think, oh, this is just a standard plant hand, and it is. To be, to be honest, it is a standard plant hand. It's a really, really good plant hand. However, we're going to see how does the how do the Link 3s improve this. So, we obviously saw something this way to die. Uh, no one in their right mind is ever going to ash this. We'll grab our Loki. Keep down a little bit lower here. 
We will link one, summoning out Dryas, using Connected Dryas. Grabbing our sewing. Now we'll activate Fear and Lady Boria in hand, equipping the Loki. Then using the effect of Lady Boria, sending the Loki. And now realistically, pretty much everyone is going to imperm here. So we're going to assume imperm because pretty much everyone will always imperm at this point in time. Just because otherwise we're being protected. Then we activate sewing. I'm going to have ash. That's fine. So in this instance, we're just going to normal summon twin. However, if we didn't open the twin, we'd then go activate Rick Glamour. Glamour tribute Liboria. Add level one, normal summon. How about we have twin? So we're going to go normal summon twin. Effective twin. Rub one loci. Link off these guys. Go into Jasmine. Link one with twin. Oh, not dance. <laughs> Go into Dryas. And link one with the Loki going into Healer. So we use the Healer effect again and the Jasmine effect to search. We've already used our Lily Boria this turn. So there's no point adding Lily Boria here because we've already got it. So here, I think I'm going to go for. Hmm. I think just adding a level one already would be quite cool. Because that means we could add our uh, Angelica with the link three. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add a level one. I'll then use Jasmine's effect to from deck, tributing his cost. Grabbing out. We'll go directly for the petal this time. I'll then use the effect petal to search. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Ricka Princess. Right, so one, you could argue, okay, so now I can just summon the princess, go into Jasmine, banish the Jasmine, sorry, banish the... We haven't got healer. We have not got a second healer in Grave right now, so we cannot go to our normal twin play, which is the play that you'd expect to go for here. So how do we get around this? Because we can't trigger the second Jasmine because we don't have access to the healer right now. We can, and we'll find a way. So, this is where our link becomes really, really good. If we just go link off, if we let Trampling through more hand traps, we could summon the princess first. Let's go into our link three. We use the effect, special summon all to search. We're going to search out Angelica. Where is our Angelica? Add Angelica. Now we can do effect summon from hand. We'll special summon Angelica and our new support card. Use the effect. Now we're going to grab Laurel from deck. So this is where the Aromage engine really does come into its own. In an honestly really impressive way, in my opinion. So we've only gone through one Jasmine so far. We can now go Angelica. We'll go Angelica plus Dryas. Summoning out our second Jasmine. And now we can go Laurel plus Support Card into the third Jasmine. Laurel's going to trigger to gain 500 life points. Then both Jasmines are going to trigger, chaining 1, chaining 2, to get two searches. We're going to search out... Since we've already got the Rick of Princess, we can just grab... We could grab our Mudan plus our... Where are you? Our Snowdrop. However, do we need to here? Because we've already got access to the Glamour, so we can already get these searches. I'm going to do it for point's sake anyway. However, realistically, you don't need to. You could always just go for... I think here, what would be more interesting, instead of adding the Mudan, I'm going to add a Lone Fire. Because Lone Fire has really neat application in these combos with being able to tribute the Strano without summoning the Mudan. So we're going to go for Lone Fire here. Now we can simply go... We'll go Effective Snowdrop, Trooping off a Jasmine, Summoning Snowdrop, and Summoning that Lone Fire. 
So we actually started with unexpected die here, and we have an ultimate twin, right. Now we can go effect a Ricker Princess, special itself. Now since I control an Aroma monster and my life points are higher than my opponents, because I'm I've gained a bunch of life here, I can now go effect of Angelica and special summon herself. Now effect a snowdrop, target princess, everything's level four. We will overlay with the Angelica so we can keep it engraved. Summoning out a Ricker Strana. Have a look on graveyard. Do we want anything back here? The card that we nice have back is probably Rummage Laurel because Laurel can then be summoned from hand again if you wanted. Because we've only we haven't used the summon from hand effect this turn, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll detach our Ricker Princess and add back our Laurel. Then we'll use Lone Fire, treating the Strana, summoning our Moodan from deck. We can go chain link one strata, chain link two Mudan. Mudan grabbing out Konkon. Strana reborning itself. And equipping a Sacred Beast Hyperiton. We can then overlay our two monsters for our second Strana. So we have it for the next turn again. We can use Konkon. Effect Hyper, Hyper to equip. We're gonna grab this unexpected die from our graveyard. So we now have a spell negate. Even here, we have a ton more plays we can do. So I'm gonna extend for the safe extending here, just so I can showcase a little bit more. I said one very quick thing. Yeah, so we can banish Twin to banish Jasmine and reborn because we've got two Jasmine's in the grave. Reborn another Jasmine. Then use the effect of Laurel to special summon itself. And we either go link Laurel source here into Benglancer, then get another Jasmine search. Or we can just link four here. I'm going to go for the additional search because I'd like to get a Libor for next turn. So we can just go with these two guys into our Bengalancer. Realistically, it probably was better just to keep this guy on board. Special the Laurel, not use these cards at all. And just link into this. I think that's a better play here. But you still get, regardless, you get the point. We still get the set from deck. Actually, the other player gets the additional search. Doing it the way around does get the additional search. So even even me doing my pant knowledge, I'm fumbling a little bit here. So we'll go off, go into Benglancer, use our Jasmine to get the additional search, grabbing for next turn of the Borea. Then we can use Konkon set from deck, set, setting risk a sheet, and you can see from that. Combo through Ash, through Impan, using our multiple Strenners and our Link 3, we were able to completely full combo through that, which is, and have additional monsters on field. We can use Extensive Next Turn. We also have Thrust. If we're playing something like Impan, we can use Thrust to set Impan from deck, or to set a card post side. And we haven't even used our Glamour to search. So we were able to play through this full card, this full Ash Impan. Still end on all of this with just the three cards in our hand. Because we were able to make the additional two Jasmines and get the search because of our link our new link three. So that's my thoughts and my I guess first takes on the new combos. I hope this was kind of insightful. These were that was my thought process for what we can do with an additional level one extender and the link three. The link three seems really, really good at just allowing us to extend through hand traps as we saw with the playing through a hand combo. And yeah. I'm really happy with this. I hope my input was useful and let me know down below what you think. Uh, see you in the next video.